it is time to build my clothing rack. I'm really excited about this. My bedroom is an absolute mess. I really need to clean it. Please don't judge me for how much mess is in there, but I'm very excited about this because it's just gonna give me some more storage space for my wardrobe, but then also a place where I get to color code things, which is just something that I really enjoy. I didn't get very far, I have a bit of a situation. So they give you this tool, which has a screwdriver on one side and then the like the flathead screwdriver on the other. And the problem is, is they really should have put them the other way around because I think you need this side more than this side. And these are so difficult to get in and I don't have my Ikea toolkit because I think Liz has it. And so I just don't have the the weight or like the, like this little handle just isn't enough to put pressure behind it to get it to work. So. The screws are not put in properly. I'm gonna keep going with it and hopefully later I can pick up my toolkit and then tighten those ones. This may or may not work. I have absolutely no idea. Clothing rack is done. The only thing that I do need to do is when I get my proper toolkit, I'll be able to screw these in tighter. Like it should be able to move, although I'm pushing on it right now and it's not moving, but I just need to put all of those screws in a little more tighter. But other than that, it's all done. So now I can take it into my room. So this is my bedroom. Um, I just have a lot of stuff everywhere. I've got some bags of shoes from when I went away last weekend that I still haven't put away. I just have stuff everywhere. So I'm gonna tidy all of this up. I think I'm gonna put the clothing rack in this corner. So I'm just gonna push that over and make room for the rack just here. super happy with it. I actually have no idea what clothes I want to put on here or what colors I want to put on here, but I feel like it fills out this wall a lot better than just the single chest of drawers because it's kind of small against the really big wall. So I do like that this is a bit bigger and fills up that space. so much better in here, nice and fresh and clean. I just need to do something with these hats and then figure out the clothing rack, um, but I'm very happy with the dresser. The only thing that I was just thinking about was maybe I should paint this. I just thought I would jump on Pinterest and do a bit of a search for green dresses. A lot of these are the hems dresser that I have from Ikea and then they've just been, you know, DIY'd. I can't decide whether I should do like a really dark green like this or then a more olive green, sage green like this. That's kind of in between. It's a little more yellow tone so it looks more olive but it's still in the, the ballpark of sage green and I think it might just make this whole space just feel a little bit different. I'm a little over all of the white in my apartment to be honest and I think I want to bring in a little bit more color and a bit more depth and everything in my room is basically beige, black and green. Like I have the beautiful green print above my bed which I love although I was thinking about it and I probably could have gone a size smaller than that like it's a very big picture and then I have a bit of green on my bedside tables as well like oh my gosh look at this mess though. 
<laughs> this is a disaster. But yeah, I feel like maybe that might be a nice contrast is to have this piece of furniture behind me in a color as opposed to just being white. I still think I'd keep the black handles though to match this thing, but I just think green might just make it a little more different in here. I'm trying to figure out like what color I should do on my clothing rack. I feel like this is all neat and organized except for my phone and the hair clip. I literally just put them there, but I like how this looks. I, uh, yeah, I'm just wondering about my clothing rack. I have my suit from Cook Eye up here because it is my favorite. And then I've hung just my black bag over the back, but I wear this so much. Actually, I do need to get this little bit repaired because it's coming undone. Then I put up this jacket and I have this top. And the only thing that's irritating me is when I worked in retail, we learned that when you put clothes on the coat hanger, you have to make the, the hook look like a, a question mark. And so I want the clothes to face my door, which means I have to do it backwards. And there's just something about that that my soul does not like because I was taught for so long to do it the other way. But yeah, I might play around with this for the minute. It feels very fresh in here, which I'm excited about. I'm also now officially that insane person that irons their bedding. Don't ask me how I got into the whole thing of ironing my bedding. It's only been for about a month now that I actually had ever thought about it. Uh, and I ironed it while the cover was on the bed. It would be so much better if I actually did it on an ironing board first before putting it on. And then it's frustrating because the cover actually falls into the grooves of the quilt underneath, which is super now I'm just being ridiculous and detail oriented, but um, I quite like it. I mean, it's very beige. The pillows in the middle are white, so it's a bit of a contrast, Not, and I don't know if I really like it. And those pillowcases are satin, so I use them specifically for my hair because it's better for them. I really need to dust off my bedside tables. So still need to figure out what I'm doing with that. And then behind me, this is the wall that now feels a little more organized and full, and I quite like it. I definitely want to paint this dresser. I feel like it just needs something just needs a bit more contrast. I have not figured out what I'm doing with this clothing rack yet. I need to order more coat hangers. I had five tops on one coat hanger just before. And look, you can see it. The afternoon sun is finally coming back and I'm so excited about it. But yeah, I need to get more coat hangers and then figure out what kind of color I'm gonna do on here. But for now, I just have a pair of shoes a couple pieces of clothing and then my Chanel and my Dior bag. And then I have my hat on a hook, but if, you know, ideal world, I would move the hat a little to the right, a little down, which is probably something I can do later. I will remove this hook. Might end up hanging the mirror. And then I have like my jewelry, more jewelry, perfume, candle, uh, my YSL bag. And then I do have this little plant thing down here. I DIY'd this vase one time. It's just a glass vase from the dollar store and then I glued Dow sticks around it. But yeah, I do have to vacuum the floor and I still would like to get a rug in here. It's just it's a very strange sized room and I don't really know what size rug I should get in here. I think the room is eight feet wide by 11 and it's really hard when rugs are kind of rectangle. And if I got a nine by seven from like I have in the living room, I feel like it would almost take up the whole room except for like a foot around the outside. So much happier with this. I still am undecided on the whole beige thing, but I definitely do want to paint that dresser. I think it needs to be a darker color. What's seven feet in centimeters? Seven feet is equal to 213.36 centimeters. How many centimeters is 10 feet? 10 feet is equivalent to 304.8 centimeters. I have 
have the tape measure out uh, because I thought I would measure up rugs again. I want something that's probably gonna come to maybe about here and then maybe sort of along this panel here and then I guess to maybe here or something. And honestly, I think a square rug is gonna be the best option. I was looking at square rugs on rug, uh, what is it, rugs.ca or something last year. I've just put the filter in for green because I thought maybe, ooh, like this, this is pretty. It's a little shaggy and it's like a green, it's a very soft green tone, like that might be cute, but then it might be also too much with the, the dresser if the dress is gonna be green as well. I don't know, anyways, it's just a thought. And you can get it in runner, runner square. So five foot, eight by eight. Eight by eight is probably too big. I need like a seven by seven or a six by six. I don't know. I'm having a very hard time trying to figure it out. A six by nine is far too big. Like the nine feet for the, the length of the room is just far too big. Like if the, the rug sits at the wall, then it ends, um, I think all the way to this thing possibly. I think that's nine feet and it's just, it's too much. But if I get anything less, then it ends up being too skinny for the room. Anyways, I don't really know what to do. Like I could get a six by four, maybe even a five by eight. I don't know if eight would fit. So then my next thought is that if I went rectangle, but like this way, so it's long, the long way is this, and then the short way is this, but I just, I feel like it's just as a weird shaped room and a square one would make more sense. This is six foot and it doesn't leave much room for the outside of the bed. Do you know what I mean? Like it, the rug won't come too far out from the bed if I were to get a six foot. And then it's usually six by four, I think, which doesn't leave a lot of room this way if I did six by four. I need seven by seven. I know that it's such a complicated size, but seven foot by seven foot would be perfect, I think. I don't know. I don't know what to do. This is why I don't have a rug in here because it's really hard to figure out. I also thought I would show you here too the hangers that I get. They are from Kitchen Stuff Plus and they're just these plain flocked hangers. I'm pretty sure it's the ivory ones. They are way more white in person, but on the website they look very beige. Uh, but I'll probably add maybe another three packs of these, I think. And I'm just gonna get them shipped here. It says they're not in at King and Spadina. Well, King and Sp Spadina, that store closed. So it's now down in Liberty. I don't think I can be bothered to go down there. Um, I might just get them shipped here. It's 20 past six. I, I love the fact that it's 20 past six. Whoops, I just stepped on the tape measure. But I love that it's 20 past six at nighttime and it is this bright and light. I didn't realize it was so late. I have to get ready and leave. I'm either supposed to be somewhere in 10 minutes or I'm supposed to be somewhere in 40 minutes. Either way, I have to do a nighttime makeup look and pick an outfit and get ready. And my house is an absolute mess. I just kind of threw everything out of here, out there, and I was like, I'll just put it away later. And now I don't even have time. I have to get ready. I might have to come back and just clean all of this up tomorrow morning, which I hate. I hate going to bed with a messy house, but I have to leave. I just, the day got away from me and I didn't realize what time it was. I've decided I can't. I can't leave without just doing like a little something. So I am going to put you right here and I'm gonna quickly at least just tidy up the kitchen stuff. I can do the cardboard and the packaging tomorrow, but I just have to do something. It's not perfect, it's not completely done, but it's better than what it was. And at least my dishes are in the dishwasher now as well. I just have to deal with the cardboard and the rubbish tomorrow. But now I have to go and get ready. It turns out it's at seven, so I have about half an hour and I'm good, but I'm just gonna go do my makeup and go and get ready.